All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. You like it? You low budget underpaid stripper. If I ever see you wearing these rags again, you're going to be sacked. I assure you. Size pinging clothes. Are you going to remove this rubbish and put on your uniform? Are you crazy? What's wrong with this girl? Good morning, fine Oga. What do you want? I bring you breakfast on top bread. On top bed. Isn't that supposed to be Solomon's job? Oga, okay. I think as I say, um, good morning, fine Oga. Okay. You tell me, good morning, beautiful. Are you stupid? Like, are you going mad? No, papi. My friend, will you drop this thing here and get out of this room? I am interested in you. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that <laughs> Esther, can you just calm down? Please, I'm not going to bite you. No, but please don't, don't, don't touch me. Like I was saying, I like that you're modest. You're different. You know, some weeks ago, I caught my girlfriend with a politician. Sorry, it's fine. But since then, I've not been able to trust any woman. Especially not that cheap, loose, dirty village girl called Naza who keeps throwing herself at me. But I like you. I really like you. Because you're different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please don't. What the hell is going on here? Oga, nothing on. So this is the reason you rejected me? Because of this, this useless cook? Huh? So it's, it's him I like. He's my boyfriend. Interesting. Now, just tell me, Esther. What exactly does he have to offer you? Have you thought about it? Huh? Absolutely nothing. You're willing to throw away everything you're going to benefit from me? The house, the cars, the luxurious life, everything I'm willing to give to you and more. You want to throw it all away because of, because I of this? I don't want yeah? anything from you, sir. I don't want anything. It's him I want. He's the one you want to be with? Yes, sir. Fine. I will show you. I will show you. Now you get into this car. Oh, okay. sir. Well, you... I don't want to get into this car. Wait, sir. Get, get, get into this car. Oh, sir. Now, okay, we start. Okay, wait, 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 So let's talk about this one, love or money. As you guys can see, this really boils down to entitlement because the owner of the house really loved the house help, but the house help was interested in the cook. And of course, that got him upset. Now, I'm labeling this entitlement because I know for a fact that the main reason why he thinks he has the right to be upset for her rejecting him is because she works for him you know and this is something wrong that a lot of employers do not every employer but of course a lot of them do this uh you know if he's not the employer it might be the boss the manager the you know somebody that has a superior position than you in the company you know and they feel like because they are your boss that they're entitled to ask you for a relationship and you have to agree to it. And if you don't agree to it, then how dare you? How dare you date this other person or maybe this other nobody that's also working in the company? While, you know, I, as the boss, asked you out and you said no. That's not right. You know, uh, first that's, you know, you are, you are, all this feeling of entitlement is not correct. That you are the boss doesn't mean they have to like you or to agree to date you. You know, they have the right to date whoever they want to date. Uh, in this case, as you guys can see, he got upset. He started mistreating the guy uh, because the guy was his cook, I believe. By the way, the link to the movie is in the description. So you guys should click on it and watch it. But, uh, you know, you know, he he really started taking things out on the guy, the cook, uh, that she loved just because she did not want him. Um, 
and you know yeah as you guys can even see with the title is love or money so yeah he had all the money in the world uh whatever that meant and you know uh, she was looking for real true love which she felt like she was getting from the cook the whole thing here is you know lesson i want us to take from this is you know you guys should stop being entitled stop having that feeling of entitlement in a relationship and i'm not just going to talk about you know scenarios that boil down to asking somebody out even when you start dating somebody in a relationship you have to be careful you have to be careful how you demand for things because you feel like uh you are entitled to it uh you, you gotta be careful ladies do this a lot when it comes to money uh you are my man so you know you should deliver me from all my problems you know and uh, that, that's that's an entitlement mindset you know they don't have to deliver you from anything you know they don't have to especially when you are not even sure if they have the resources to do that you know but the key thing is you know stop making entitlement demands you know if there's something you need you know ask him and see if he can afford to you know help you with it you know don't demand for it don't start misbehaving when you don't get it you know because those things are entitlement mindset you know you feel like because you are his girlfriend he has to do this for you guys have problems too and for some reason it looks like many girls don't realize this you come into a relationship where the guy has his own dreams and aspiration the girl has his own dreams and aspiration and you're expecting the guy to help you as the girls you know attain your dreams have you wondered who helps him attain his? You know, he's the one that's funding the relationship in most cases, of course, not all, you know. And if those his dreams are not uh, met, he probably might not even be able to, you know, sustain the expenses that he's making in the relationship. Who is actually looking out for him, you know, succeeding? It's always about, you know, him helping her get to where she wants to be, you know, help her with her dreams, help her with her business, help her with this, you know. And in most cases, uh, there's even no appreciation because it's like that whole entitlement mindset that is his responsibility. So ladies, uh, if you are one of the people that have that kind of mindset, you need to drop it. You know, if he does something for you, appreciate him for what he did. And most likely he will do more. But keep in mind that whatever he did to support you, he could have applied it to his own self to better his own self. But he chose to use it on you. There has to be a lot of appreciation going on. You can't talk down on the scenario. You can't um, be happy one day and the next you are upset because uh, something else wasn't met. You know, because... You know, in life, everybody has to, you know, try to attain whatever they really set out to attain in life. And it's on you to get there. It's not on somebody else. It's not. It's not on another individual. So that's it for this one, guys. If you love this kind of content, please like, share, subscribe, and, you know, uh, hit the notification bell if you have not. So you'll continue getting content like this. This is CJ from Magnetic Studios and I'm here to deliver.